Okay, so the, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the objective of today, mathematically. I want you to write this down under the fry side. Understand the process of solving equations and apply to real world and mathematical problems on the fry side of the notebook. Under fry, that is today's objective. When you finish that, directly under the objective, you're going to write down an equation and the definition of equation, a statement that shows two start in second grade when it comes to equations. This is what it looked like in second grade. 6 plus 4 equals 10. You know it's an equation because an equation is a statement that shows two expressions are equal. An expression does not have an answer. Those are two expressions. An equation two expressions that are equal, this is an equation. So what it looked like in second grade? What it looked like in fourth grade? What it looked like in sixth grade? These are all equations. Come back over here. This is where we're going. So this is where you've been when it comes to equations. This is where you're going, which are linear equations. We'll learn about later this year. So let's take a look at upper elementary. Three, Y, and I want everyone writing this on fry side. And then we're gonna do the I'm going to do this one out loud. Three Y plus four. So that's fry side. Lane, why isn't this an expression? Why is this an equation? Um, because there's an equal sign in it, and it should show that both sides are equal. That's great. That's awesome. Okay. Last notes in this introduction. To solve equations, we're going to rearrange the equation so you have the unknown value all by itself on one side, the equal sign. We're going to use addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division to keep things balanced. Write that on the fry side. And then we're going to be ready to roll with mathematics. If you're done, you want to take a shot at solving that problem, feel free to do so on your side, on your main side. We've got two people that are still writing. So, 
So I know I want to get the unknown value all by itself. The unknown value is Y. I've got to keep things balanced. The easiest thing for me to remove initially is the four. So it's plus four to get it by itself. To get it to zero, I'm gonna go minus four, but to keep it balanced, I have to do it to one side. I also have to do it to the other side. So minus four is six. So now I have three Y equals six to get the Y by itself. I know that it's three times Y. I'm gonna divide by three. If I do it to one side, I do it to the other. Y equals two. Together. Somebody tell me the first thing I need to do. What's the first thing that you would do here? Mackenzie? Subtract 12 from Love 32. Love it. So, uh, just here? Subtract 12 here? And the other side from 32. Keep it balanced. I'm going to do it to one side. I've got to do it to the other side. I've got 2x equals 20. What do I do next? How can I get that x by itself? I've got two times x here. We divide by two on both sides. Divide by two on both sides. I get my x by itself. 20 divided by two equals 10. x equals 10. Solving equations and applying to mathematical problems. And now we're going to move on to solving equations for real world problems. It's just going to get a little bit trickier here. And we're going to go to iTunes. The iTunes question. It's going to be a we do. So you've got a $50 gift certificate for iTunes. It costs $10 to activate an account. It's $2 for each song. How many songs can we purchase? How many songs can we purchase? So the first thing I want to do is I want to set up an equation. I've got the equal sign. There's going to have to be something on the left side and something on the right side. Somebody take a shot at giving me the left side or the right side. Mackenzie. Um, 10 plus 2x equals 20. Explain to me what 2x is. What is x? is the amount of songs that you can do since it's two dollars per song. And then the plus 10, that 10, where did that come from? That came from uh, how much it takes to activate the account. Awesome. So now I have an expression, I need to turn it into an equation. What's my gift certificate, Brandon? 50 bucks. Love, love it. Love that you're with me. Everybody taking notes can be on the U side. If you want to be on the U side, And so now I need to solve it. I need to solve it. What's the first thing, Will, that I need to do here? Subtract 10. Love it. Is that it? Uh, no, on both sides. Gotta keep it balanced. Lane, what's up? What do I do now? Divide two on both sides. Because we want to get the x by itself. Two times x, we're gonna divide it. Do the inverse, x equals 20. 20 what, Brandon? 20 songs. 20 what? 20 songs equals 20. 20 songs, yeah, great. Awesome, awesome. Now, let's step this up a notch and let's talk about equations on SAT. We're gonna talk about equations on SAT and this is a question pulled from SAT. And here we go. This will be on the, on the U side. And if you have to flip it over, if some of you are taking notes, now you're on the second page, draw that same diagram on the second page. And this can be on the U side. So here's where things could get tricky. Here's where things could get tricky. This is an SAT question. Talking about equations on SAT. 6X equals 42. Hmm. What's X? X is the variable. So if 6X equals 42, what's X? 
we divide six from both sides, we would get seven and only x. Love it. X equals seven. Xk equals two. We know what x is. So I'm going seven k equals two. What's our next step? I've got seven k equals two, but I want to get the variable by itself. So what do I do here? Kizzy. Divide two by seven. So seven k equals two sevens. Seven k equals two sevens. What's the step that I forgot here? Divide on the other side. Divide 7k by what? Uh, to get k by itself. Y'all just nailed an SAT question. That's awesome. That's the question that you'll see on SAT, just like that. Equations on SAT. All right, I'm going to turn you loose. Do one by yourself. Hey, how are you doing? We're going to do this problem right here, and I want you to use your dry erase board for this. I want three things on this dry erase board. I want the equation, like start with the initial equation with a variable in it. The second piece that I want to see on the dry erase board is the equation and the, the second, let me, let me go with the second step of the equation, get the variable by itself. And then the third thing that I want to see is the answer. So driving to Nashville, 385 miles away, you aren't stopping, you're driving 70 miles an hour, write an equation for the problem and solve it for how long it will take to get to Nashville. So again, I'm looking for three things. I'm looking for the initial equation, I'm looking for the step where the variable's by itself, and then the answer. Yeah. Okay. Eyes back on the board. Like with the calculator, everybody would have gotten that. There was, we, we had some division issues, which I get, especially when we're talking about not running full numbers. So I'm going to change it a little bit. I want to do it again. Um, all right. Let's, let's erase what you have. And we're going to reset and go to Birmingham. You are, oh, you already got this. Yeah. There you go, bud. We're going to reset and go to Birmingham. So we're going to take, take away the division piece and dividing decimals. But I want to make sure that we understand the equation piece of this problem. So we're resetting. All of you got that first step, which I was very grateful for. And in the second step, many of you. But I feel like after our conversations, we're going to reset. We're going to Birmingham. It's 560 miles away. I want the equation, then the variable by itself, then the answer. 
And I feel like we're gonna hit this and everybody's gonna get this right. We're gonna turn loose to independent work. So apply what you just learned in those conversations with me. Okay, stop. Let me see your dry erase board. Dry erase board, let me see that answer. The three things, you should have three things on that right way you set it up, your first step, what I'm talking about. So we've got two steps, we're gonna get it right this next time. That's what I'm talking about, that's what I'm talking about. Great, beautiful handwriting. It's good, it's good. Okay, next one. Listen, listen, because this is an issue that I see so many students make. Don't make this mistake. Everybody, eyes on me, don't make this mistake. We've been using addition often here. So when we see addition, I messed up down here. My boy took care of it. When we use addition, you're gonna subtract five, but right now we're using subtraction. So to get negative five by itself, raise your hand, tell me the first step. Look at me, so I know you're paying attention. What's, what, is, what is it? Add five, right? Add five to get this to zero. When we think about the number line, we're going back that way. You're gonna see this in the independent work. If it's a minus, if it's a negative, you've gotta to add to both sides. Go ahead and do that you do second one on the dry erase board. Let me see all three steps. Some of you gave me two the last time on the dry erase board. I wanna see three steps. You guys are killing it. I appreciate your respect, your effort. Killing it. So can you tell me, what's the first thing? That, you put, that he asked you to put on your board. What's this first thing right here that he asked you to put on your board? He wanted us to get x by itself, so we added five instead of subtracting five. Like you said, a lot of kids mistaken and want to subtract five because they think that's what they're going to get. But if you subtract five, you get negative ten. Don't erase anything so yet because I'm having to write right show to you. You gotta add five on to both sides. Okay. You get thirty, and then down here you get these two numbers. And then you have to, to get X alone, you have to divide 10 by each, each side, and then you get X. Amazing. Thank you for your explanation. I appreciate that. Make sure you have your unit of measure. I'm seeing that on almost everything. Nice. We have a few minutes for independent work time. We're gonna go 38 through 45. Everything on the you do side. Everything on the you do side, 38 through 45. I'll be walking around. Let me know if you have questions. You guys did so good on that. When we reset on the second one, everybody got that right. Yeah, that's it. <coughs> Unbelievable. 
unbelievable, 100%, three steps, everybody following directions. I'm, I don't see anybody who, who wrote two steps that time. Unbelievable. I look forward to seeing that handwriting every time. Good, man, good. Okay, next step, everybody, right here. I, I warned you about one thing that you're gonna see on independent work, that the kids in the last class had issues with. What was the thing that I warned you about? Got three bonus points for the thing I just warned you about. But t go tell me. Uh, not three steps. Well, oh, that's true. But it was right here, right here, oh, yes. They want to subtract five here. Don't do it. When you see that negative sign, when you see this negative sign, you're going to want to add five to both sides, which everybody did right there. So that was fantastic. Okay, I'm going to turn you loose on the sheet that I gave you. If you didn't understand one of the problems that we did in the mini lesson, I want you to raise your hand because I'm going to come by and explain it to you and explain exactly what you're going to see on the exit ticket for a grade. Interesting. So why would that look in an equation? How would it look in an equation? Oh, so that it would be.
case, man, you could get tripped up on your negatives and positives. <laughs> That's it. That's it. So, then you have one of that. Let's see. Yes. This is a negative, though. Is it? Negative. Yup. Yup.
I know we got some some positive negative integer things that we'll talk about in the future with some of you and break some of that stuff down. But right now I want to do an exit ticket. And it's right here. You can use your notes. So flip to an open sheet. Let me explain this to you. We've done all this. You can use your notes. Number one, I want you to write today's objective in your own words. Paraphrase it. That's it. Everybody's got this one. Everybody is going to get this one correct. Number two, 5x plus 3 equals 23. Everybody's going to get this one right. Put you in a position for success. It's over here to the right. It's over here to the right. Check it out. None of this is going to be a surprise to you. Remember the objective, understanding the process. We're using equations to solve math problems and to solve real world problems. So you're gonna to flip to the third page. You do not need to draw the notes anymore. You're just gonna write number one, number two, number three, and then the bonus. Number one is I need you to write today's objective in your own words. So use your own words to write this. You do that, you nail it. That's one right there. Number two, we did so many of these. You know that this is a positive sign, so be careful here. Number three, story problem. This is a tough one. It's got decimals, it's gonna involve division. It's gonna get crazy on you. If you miss number three, there's two bonus questions. The SAT question. Equations to solve real world problems, equations to solve math problems, equations to nail SAT. What is X? What is K? Two bonus problems. Everybody's going to get 100% here. If you have a question, I want you to raise your hand. Put you in a position to be successful. Third page or fourth page or fifth page, depending on how many notes you're taking. I want to see all your work, all your blood, sweat, and tears. I want to see each step of the equation. Nobody's talking. Everybody's working. You guys have done so well today. in your notes. Everybody, man, that was a full class of grinding math. It was beautiful. Ticket on the top there, exit ticket on the top of your notebook, paper right there.
we've got like three or four minutes left. Here's your homework tonight. Here's your homework. You, if you're done with this, rip it out. You can sit down on this desk, the exit ticket. Here's your homework tonight. Keep your notebook. Paraphrase what an equation is, put it in your own words, and how to solve equations. Put it in your own words. There's only four problems tonight for homework. Those two, here's your third problem. I want you to create an equation. That's a mathematical problem. The fourth thing, I want you to create an equation that's a real world story problem. Four questions, that's it. That's all your homework would be. If anybody's still working on the exit ticket, keep working on that. If you're done, set it down there. Anybody who uh, is done can start on your homework. It's only four problems.